Hey guys, this is LSD 789 with another build video. This is going to be my Bullet King Striker build. It's mostly useful uh, in events like the Guardian event right now or Golden Bullets. I'll show you. Let's go. I'm using the Gunner specialization mainly because it gives you armor on kill, it gives you um, ammo every few seconds. Uh, also, when you stand still, you get weapon handling. Uh, I'll show you in the gameplay later how this is really useful. So you just stand still, you get weapon handling, and you st shoot straight and get reload speed and stuff. So yeah, Gunner is like a must for this build. Then for the build, I use the Bullet King LMG with uh, expertise level, doesn't really matter. I have LMG damage, damage out of cover, and damage to armor. And I rerolled this because I think uh, it comes with uh, crit damage instead of the damage to armor. But I rerolled it to damage to armor, and I'll show you later how you can reroll this. It also comes with a bullet hell talent. This weapon never needs to reload. And for every 100 bullets that hit an enemy, you replenish some ammo uh, to you and your allies as reserve. So yeah, you just never have to reload, you just keep shooting. And if you hit 100 times, you even get some ammo back. And uh, yeah, because of with, uh, with this Guardian event, we get um, uh, extra RPM. And I, I don't like to keep reloading reloading, so with this gun you don't have to reload. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, it also comes with a crit chance and some stability. Then next to it I have the shield splinterer. Uh, this gun you get from uh, killing the hunters in Washington. If you don't have this gun, you can use any gun, but this one comes with assault rifle damage, health damage and damage to target over cover. And it has the perfect optimist uh, talent on. With weapon damage is increased by 4% for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine. And then I put crit chance on, stability and uh, more crit chance. And I don't use the magazine with uh, extra magazine capacity. Because if you have less ammo, you go quicker to that 40%. Yeah, because the less ammo you have, the more damage you do. So if you put more ammo in, it's going to take longer to get to that uh, yeah, damage boost. So that's why I just put some stability on, so it shoots really straight. But yeah, like I said, you can put any gun on that you want. But this is just my secondary. Then I have a TDI card custom for the skill tier. Also not really important, but just using the Bullet King. Then let's go to the gear. I'm using a striker mask. Uh, that gives you, for two pieces, you get weapon handling, three pieces fire rate, and then you get the striker's gamble. Weapon hits increase total weapon damage by 0.65%, uh, stacking up 100 times. Um, and then if you stack it up to 50, it loses one stack. If you stack it up to between 15 and 100, you lose two stacks. Um, yeah, this just gives you straight up uh, weapon damage, 65% if you're maxed. Yeah, this one was really nice. Then I also put a core attribute on it with crit chance and crit chance. Um, if we go to the chest piece, it's also a striker chest piece. Again, with armor, I put crit damage and crit chance on this one. This one has the press to advantage. Increase the maximum stacks for the striker gamble from 100 to 200. So without the chest piece, you have 65% um, weapon damage maximum. But this just doubles it to 130 weapon damage. But you do lose your stacks more quickly. But... Uh, we never have we never reloading so we just keep shooting and you get the fire rate with the event so as long as you keep shooting you you will stack up these 200 stacks easily no problem at all you see it in the gameplay later on then i have a uh, striker holster with the same stats armor and crit chance and i have a striker knee pad again with armor and crit chance then of course we're going to use the contact of glass with the lmg damage with the extra armor and the damage to armor, which is really important. I put a quick chance on that one. And then my trusty Memento backpack, which I use on almost every build. Uh, it comes with weapon damage, armor, and a skill tier. I have quick chance on it. Let's go over the details. The kill confirmed. Enemies you kill drop a trophy on that. Collecting that trophy provides a, uh, both a short and a long-term boss above the first of which skills with the number of core attributes equipped and those last for 10 seconds only 
And for every trophy you collect, you get 5% weapon damage, 10% bonus armor, and 5 skill efficiency. So yeah, that's really nice. You just get bonus armor if you kill an enemy. And then for the long-term uh, boost, you get, uh, for every trophy collected, you gain 1% weapon damage, 1% skill efficiency, and 0.1 armor regen for 300 seconds. And that's for a uh, maximum of 30 stacks. So at maximum stacks, you get 30 weapon damage, 30 skill efficiency, and 3% armor regen. And that's for 300 seconds. So yeah, for the long, uh, for the short boost, you get like a small boost with bonus armor. And for the long term uh, boost, you get armor regen and weapon damage. That's for a longer duration. So yeah, that's all the gear. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a tank build, by the way, but yeah, you see in the video, uh, we're going to do a lot of damage together with the contractor gloves and the Bullet King. Um, I'm also using a, a Banshee, because we use the Gunner, we can use the Banshee pools. This one's also at level 25, with extra radius and factor ratio. It's really nice, because you can uh, stun the enemies and they don't, uh, they don't shoot you and you can shoot them. It's always nice to have a Banshee. And have a trusty revive, it's always there to pick you up, or if a mate of yours goes down, you can pick him up. Yeah, it's really nice. Like I said, this build is mostly useful with events, but you can also use it on any other uh, occasion. Okay, let's check the stats. Uh, we have weapon damage here, PvP damage. I'm at uh, 57 crit chance, 57 crit damage, some headshot. 14% uh, damage to armor because of the Bullet King and the Contractor Gloves. No health damage, reload speed boost. Uh, the accuracy and stability is going to be better because if you stand still, you get accuracy and stability with the gunner specialization. So it's also going to be boosted. Weapon handling with the striker, yes. Ammo capacity doesn't matter because we have the Bullet King. There's the Memento uh, backpack, the chest piece talent, striker. We have almost 2 million armor, almost uh, 200,000 armor uh, on kill. Armor regeneration is zero, but that's not correct, because the memento gives you regen. And if you get 30 kills, this regen will be at 60,000 regen. That's going to be a lot, yeah. Uh, max health, health on kill, health regen, no protection, uh, just a bit of hazard. Uh, these are the... Pools mods, stats, this is the revive stats, yeah, hope you guys like the build, I will show you um, how to get this bullet king to damage to armor, because that's normally not the case, for that you need to go to the crafting station right here, and then go to weapons, scroll out, wrong button, Scroll all the way down to Exotics, and you go to Bullet King, and then you need to give this Bullet King up, and you get a random Bullet King back. But you do keep that 12 expertise levels, you do keep that, but you can just re-roll it until you get damage to armor. But it does cost one Exotic component per re-roll you do. I think it cost for me like 6 or 7 re-rolls until I got what I wanted. But yeah, this is how you can re-roll Exotics. Yeah, hope you guys like the build. If you have any questions, write them in the comments. Like and subscribe for more videos. Oh, yeah, and I'm gonna put in some gameplay now. So, LSD 789, out. Agent in need of backup.
detected. Near my location, guarded by hostiles. Reinforcements incoming. Incoming hostiles detected. Taking the capital will deal a huge blow to the true sons. But the priority is to get back the briefcase President Ellis was carrying aboard Air Force One. Kelso's waiting aboard a helicopter to extract it as soon as he can hear it. If what Ellis told us is true, real cover you most a lot away. depends on getting back. that case to him. You'll have civilian Watch assistance to get you through the perimeter. You'll be on your own once you're inside. The order's on the roof. Got a lot of hostiles ahead. Hostiles are but it looks like the smoke's working. The auto cannon is firing blind. Push forward. More hostiles headed to you. Time to get in there and finish this.
Intercepted. Sir, proximity charges just detonated in the rotunda. They're inside. Move to intercept. System disrupted. System reactivated. Once you acquire the briefcase, head to the roof of the rotunda and wait for the helicopter. That mortar team is still up there. Understood. Don't need to be good for the field can approach.
that. When you're ready, set up a flare so we can get that briefcase somewhere safe. Those anti-air defenses have to go. The missile came from the east side of the building. I'm seeing two radar trailers on the east front. Must be guidance for the SAMs. Take them out by any means necessary so the helo can approach. out and let's get this shit done.
Secure. True Sun's lost their stronghold, and General Ridgeway has been neutralized. Of all the toys in my map I've been waiting to knock over, that fucker was the one. A lot of good people from my old unit are dead because of him. Some even went over to his side. Set up a flare from the front steps to signal the all clear. And come on home. Let's celebrate. <laughs> 